the nature of reality. Now, you're a doctor. How do you, how do you bring science and spirituality together? Because uh, this goes against everything that you've ever been taught. Well, it's important to point out that the science that I worshipped before my coma, that conventional neuroscientist that says brain creates consciousness, is false. In fact, that science, there's no neuroscientist on Earth who can give you the first sentence to try and explain how the physical brain might uh, create consciousness, and the reason is it doesn't. The brain is a reducing valve or filter, but a tremendous <coughs> amount of our conscious awareness and experience and memory is not part of brain function at all. Hmm. Now, there are people, you have detractors out there that say this, this, they don't believe you, so what do you have to say to them? Well, it'd be one thing if I was the only one to ever have a near-death experience. Right. Uh, there are tens of thousands of reports out there. Clearly, this is part of a deeper understanding of the nature of existence. And I explain a lot of that in Proof of Heaven. This is really about science and spirituality strengthening each other. But when I say that, uh, the implication, of course, is that our science needs to move up from kindergarten level, where that materialist science currently exists, up into first grade, which is a much richer science, fully embracing the deep mystery of of consciousness that soul and spirit are not created by the brain at all. Well, we are glad you were here well, we thank you to so share much. your story, you bet. All right, Thanks for having well, me. if you'd like to hear more from Dr. And I did, I, I remember just turning my head, looking at her and saying, I'm gonna die, goodbye, John. And I did. <clears throat> it was then that I experienced <laughs> experience what we call a near-death experience. Uh, for me, there was nothing near about it. <laughs> it was there. Uh, it was a total immersion in light, brightness, warmth, peace, uh, security. Uh, it, I did not <clears throat> have an out-of-body experience. I did not see my body uh, or anyone about me. I just immediately went into this beautiful bright light. It's difficult to describe, matter of fact it's impossible to, to describe. Uh, verbally it cannot be expressed. It, it's something which becomes you and you become it. Uh, I could say that I was peace, I was love, uh, I was the brightness.